welcome friend to this new video tutorial on matlab in this video tutorial we will learn that how to use for loop in matlab so a for loop is a repetition control structure that allow you to efficiently write a loop that need to execute a specific number of times so we will be using a for loop evaluate the sum of first n number of a particular type of series like arithmetic series so for this we will be first uh, open the editor and then we will be write the coding for uh, using the for loop so let me start so here i will open first the editor and then i will type the coding for this script uh, for using the for loop so here you see the script for matlab uh, for loop so in our script uh, n is the input that show the number of entries in our series and initially we have assumed s is equal to 0 that show that the, initially the sum of the series is equal to 0. So this is the important point in using the for loop. From line number 6 our for loop has started that for i is, is equal to 1 to n this is the series uh, for which we will be uh, using our for loop to find the sum and then in the line number 7 the we have said that uh, s is equal to s plus i so i is actually show the uh, entries that we have used in the in the series so our loop actually ends at line number 8 and in the li line number 9 and 10 that show the our output that uh, we have used the display command that display the sum of the first uh, n number as that much and here we use the display and we have set uh, the input as s so here we will be finding the sum of first n series and this is the arithmetic series of common difference is equal to 1 and we will laterally modify this series for the sum of uh, first n odd number and even numbers so you can use this for any type of series now first save and then run the script so you will see this uh, as it will ask for the input that please enter the number of terms to be added or summed so you can add any number that uh, and this will show the number from 1 to that number so i will add uh, 5 so that will give me the sum up uh, the number from 1 to 5 so this is out as 15 and now you can try this for another number as well now that's time let's try for 20 so this is the sum of 20 numbers and now let's me try this for a bigger number like 100 or 200 so i will run this from here and now i will add the number of terms to be added so let me try this time as 100 so this is the sum of the 100 number now again run this and add a bigger number than this so this is the sum of that first natural numbers so now let's me modify this uh, for loop uh, for summing the uh, first natural number to first odd number so i will sit as it uh, it will be finding the sum of the odd number so i have write uh, two time i minus one instead of i so this will show me the sum of the first odd number so i will be adding uh, n as a different now so that n will show the number of first n odd number so run it again and here add the n value so this is the sum of first uh, three odd number that one three and five so this is come out to be nine and now uh, let's try this on another so this is uh, for the ten first ten odd number and now let's try for the first hundred odd number and now you can modify this for uh, that will be finding uh, this time the sum of the first n e1 number so here remove this minus one so this will be finding now the sum of the first n e1 number run it again and here add two so the sum of the first two e1 number that is two and four so it come out to be six now try it on a bigger number let me try this uh, this time on 10 so it's come out to be 110 and now you can try this for bigger and bigger number as well so this will uh, calculate the sum of first n e1 number just in second 150 first e1 number so this is the sum and you can try it on other number as well and you can change this series from the arithmetic to other type as well 
so hope you like this video tutorial thank you for watching if this was helpful for you then please subscribe to my channel and take care allah hafiz